The surface of the Earth is continually shaped by powerful forces of water, wind, and ice. These three agents are responsible for the processes of erosion, transportation, and deposition. Material is worn away and removed from one location by erosion, then carried along sometimes for huge distances by transportation, and placed in another location when energy is lost by deposition. Processes that are carried out by the wind are referred to as Aeolian, named after the Greek god of the wind, Aeolus. These processes are particularly important to the physical geography of dry and barren areas such as deserts. The vast expanse of bare rock surfaces, strong trade winds, and endless supplies of dry, loose sediment found in arid environments come together to create this strange and spectacular landscape. There are two types of aeolian erosion, deflation and abrasion. Deflation happens when fine, loose sediment is picked up and carried away by the wind. Arid landscapes are very vulnerable to this as they lack any moisture or vegetation to hold the soil and sand together. Any rocks that were in the sand will be left behind to form a desert pavement. Abrasion happens when material carried in the wind is blasted at rock surfaces. This causes them to wear away and any rough edges become smoother and flatter. Desert rocks are susceptible to abrasion because they don't have a protective layer of soil or vegetation so they are constantly exposed to the wind. Abrasion is most effective up to 1.5 meters from the ground because the wind carries more material at this height. Rocks that have flat sides due to abrasion are called ventithacks. The wind transports material in three different ways, by suspension, saltation, and surface creep. Very fine sand that has been picked up by deflation is suspended in the wind and can be carried for very long distances, for hundreds or even thousands of miles. If any rocks are encountered along the way, this suspended material can be used for abrasion. Saltation is when particles between 0.1 and 1 mm in size bounce along the ground up to 1.5 meters high. Saltating material can also be used for abrasion and this explains why rocks get eroded at a faster rate closer to the ground. Surface creep involves larger particles that are too heavy to be lifted by the wind, those bigger than 1 mm in diameter. They are pushed and rolled along the ground and they contribute to the formation of sand dunes. When the wind loses energy, it deposits the material it's been carrying. This can happen when the wind speed drops or it meets an obstacle. Fine sediment, known as loess, can build up in the sheltered area behind rocks and vegetation. As the obstacle gets larger, more material is deposited. This is how sand dunes can start to form. And this is how desert landscapes are shaped by the wind. Did you know you can download a revision leaflet to accompany this video? Just click on the link below to access this and lots of other resources for learning geography.